what's up everyone? It's Mustachio Joshi here, welcoming you back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we made it to the refugee camp, uh, bolstering some oh. of the, or rather containing some of the people that were from Colony 6. This time, we are gonna do some side quests and shenanigans. Of all the people here, I am the least worthy of judging someone. But that Ernest is too much. He constantly twists the truth. He wasn't always like this. Maybe something happened to him. How's it going? You want to make a picture book for Palma? And you want me to write the story for it? <clears throat> What makes you think I'd want to get involved in any of that? I'm not an author anymore. I'm nothing. I've decided that I'm never writing ever again. You don't give up, do you? I'll tell you what. If you want me to do this, I'll need something first. I need some ponyo neck meat. The liquid collected from that me meat makes the finest ink. You'll never find any though. Just you try. Go on. Just don't come crying when you get a kick in the backside. Well, we already have one of three. Oh yeah, there. Did we buy stuff from this shop? Oh yeah, we did. Wait, not yet learned. What? How did I miss those? I see. Well, I see what I did. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not great. How do I use them? Arts. Oh, okay. I see. I was supposed to. <laughs> I was supposed to freaking look at the arts menu so that I could add the levels. Okay. Now I feel kind of dumb. Alright, well. Let's go to level up. Um. I think we could go for shield here. And then level up. If we level up light heal, that will provide more heals and we can get heals of uh, 0.7 seconds faster. But if I upgrade Slit Edge, I will deal more damage. Hmm. And if I update... Up, uh, not update. Upgrade Stream Edge. That will deal more damage. Air Slash might be useful, too. Yeah, let's do air slash. All right. Now that it's Rhine's time, let's upgrade engage. Um. Yeah, let's upgrade hammer beat. And can 
can't exactly upgrade while down. Let's upgrade, update, level up bone upper. Now for Sharla. I think we can go ahead and upgrade these all to level 2 of each. Hmm, we can upgrade Cure Bullet too. There we go. And Skill Trees. We have Secret of Life from Shulk. Which I believe if we use... Can't. Medium equipment won't do anything, unfortunately, there. We already have the ability to use medium equipment. Um, yeah. Not looking very promising there. Oh, wow. While we were doing all that, it looked foggy. Um, I guess it's not foggy now. I I'm sorry, I'm just completely in awe over the whole world of this game. I, I suppose we could argue that, like, this looks just like the plain, well, plain kind of area, but, I don't know. It, it has a certain amount of charm to it. Well, we collected a moth crawler. Let's inflict break on the base and antle. All right, that's one base and antle defeated. Let's use Shadow Eye. Backslash. And for that, we get a living antle eye. These are easy hoxes. Shola, do you know which way Juju went? There are quite a few ways to get there from here. But he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge? It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony 9 was founded. Okay. Let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Shola, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. Uh, what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. You'll be a big help. Come on. Who put this barrier in the way? Oh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards. I'll show them all. I was not expecting that, uh, that cutscene there. Um, I may have forgotten a, a thing or two. Or three. Well, let's fight some Nice Ponyo. That's fleecy fur. Let's use Slid Edge here. 
All right. Uh, the attack was called bite. Hmm. All right, we got Ponyo neck meat. Oh, we got Leg Wolf here to defeat. This is gonna be fun. It is rhyme time indeed. Okay, let's get going. Oh, well. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, that's two leg wolf down. We make a great team. Wait, there's hmm. I'm surprised Territorial Rockbar is still roaming these lands at this time of day. Now, if I remember correctly, is there a quest here? Yes, there is! Save the girl. Manny and Wolf are closing in on girl while she bathes. Go and rescue her before it's too late. Alright. Let's defeat these Wolf. Let's use Manile Buster. Backslash. Let's use Heal on Shulk. Shadow Edge. Or Shadow Eye. Reorganizing arts. The battle pilot can only hold up to eight arts at once. If a ca character learns more than eight arts, you may wish to reorganize the battle pallet. Wait, but Choke only has six arts. Not including the Minato arts, that is. Okay, let's get going. Me. Th thank you. I thought I was a goner. The wolf surrounded me. I couldn't get out of the war. I'm glad everything worked out. I'd expect no less from you. I just knew you could do it. It wasn't just me. Everybody helped. This place is great for bathing, but I'm never coming back by myself. I'd better get back to the camp. Thanks again. And for our troubles, we get Diver Top and Diver Bottoms. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Moving onward, um, we should change the time today because we have Ponyo Neck Meat to get.
fight this field ponyo. Slit edge. All right. And we got the last Ponyo neck meat we need. Um, but it seems there's an item at the Oasis that we'll need. Not sure what for, but let's check it out anyway. It's in the water and could be something useful. Those are Piran Hexes. Um, it's an item orb? What do we need from this IM orb? Ah, Moth Crawler! And that's another Moth Crawler. Quest complete. She should be a little happier now she has some new friends to play with. So we're at level 16, um, I forgot to check what, which party member has more than 8 arts currently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so, wait, sword drive, hmm, that, Hmm, that might be useful. It's physical attribute. The cool down on it. Ugh, yikes. Yikes. Alright, how about Sharla? Oh, well, she got a new art as well, but not more than eight. Let's uh, check Collectopedia for now. We have Sour Gooseberry. Didn't I need that one for a quest? Oh! Didn't I need Sour Gooseberry for a quest? I'm sure we'll be fine. We also have some unique monsters to defeat in Colony 9 that we couldn't defeat earlier because reasons. Oh! Those reasons being, we couldn't lure those enemies very well. The enemy's weak. Don't drop your guard. Yeah, and those colony prawn hacks are. Alright, we got small scale. Get those Vang. Okay, isn't there like Magdalena that we have to defeat? I could have sworn there was a Lake Magdalena we have to defeat. And that bear here. Okay, well, we got Dance Apple, which is sorely needed for that curry quest.
you're kidding me. I can't even lure them over here. All right. We could be over this way. I, I know we need something from IM Orbs, but... Could they be the Dawn Hydrangeas, or could they be Dance Apples? That, that is certainly a question that must be asked. Those are Dance Apples, um... Well, we got light flamies here. We need those for Yokeless flamie eggs, so... Why did I lure it? That was poorly judged. Oh yeah, we also need the Yokeless for me. That's two quests for the price of one. Yo. I am happy. Oh yeah, we also need to defeat light skiers, huh? Alright, that makes another light skier down. Right, what what uh affinity are we at with colony uh I almost said colony six, this is colony nine. Two stars of affinity, let's go! Colony six area is one star. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about certain quests that we uh, completed. If I go here, um, it should be down in. Different. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You get bleed defense three from that. Thoughtful idea. This is a timed quest. Uh, I believe time quests, uh, you're not on a timer per se, but you do have to clear these quests before specific events, if that makes sense. As for surprise quest, yeah, that's, this is a timed quest this was a surprise quest. Uh, surprise quest, they basically just come up out of nowhere, as you saw earlier, when we went to help the girl who was bathing in the lake near the waterfall. Now, look at all these armu. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I really should get those Dawn Height Ranges, so. though. Sucks I don't exactly have uh, fast travel to this area. Maybe I should check out Agora Shore. I don't know. Uh, 
I apologize if this part seems a little disjointed though, but eh. That's th these are side quests in the Vidja games. Yeah, let's go to the fortress entrance. Change time to, I believe, here. Yeah, here it is. Hi there. Why, thank you for gracing me with your presence, my matchmaker. Confused? Oh, but why? I was merely thanking you for the agreement we're about to make. Could you go into more detail? Go on, spill it, I'm sure Shulk will have something up his sleeve. You can help too, Ryan. You really can't guess. We are slow now, aren't we? Aren't I talking to the person who can get anything for anyone? Which leads me to my request. I want a Tefra drop. If you give it to another along with words of love, they fall for you. And you will be together forever. Monica wants to give Eric a Tefra drop after hearing that they make the recipient fall in love with whoever gives it to them. Go look for it in Tefra Cave. You may have noticed that this quest has a timer icon. We'll get into that shortly. You will? You'll find it for me. Yes, it's all coming together. Not long now until my dreams become reality. Hmm, that Monica, eh? She scrubs up well, but I'm not looking for anything serious. If she gets all soppy on me, I'll just dump her and move on. Monica married him. But why? How could she pick Eric? She doesn't know what he's really like. He's just using her. Just a little longer, Eric. Eric, soon we'll, we will be together. Huh? Is there something you'd like to tell me? If not, I suggest you be on your way. No problem. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll help too. Man, that's gotta be awkward discussion with the party. Here we have Andreas. Hello. Oh no, I'm running out of time. <laughs> Why won't you listen to me? Could you go into more detail? I'd like to hear too. Thanks. I'm really in a bind here. There's nothing else I can do. Please, hear me out. I'm in love with this girl Monica, but she's obsessed with Eric. If only I had Tever Drop, I could force Monica to fall for me. Monica's got a thing for Eric, maybe you should call it quits. You don't understand. It's Eric that's the problem. He's no good for a girl like her. Monica doesn't know what he's really like. You've got to help me. Hmm. You're really gonna help me. I mean... You're doing the right thing. Why on by honest did I ever marry that Andreas? It felt right at the time, so why not now? It's too late to question it. I just wish I felt happier than this. Not long now, Monica. What's wrong? 
You look worried for some reason. Don't forget that tougher drop. No problem, leave it to me. Nothing can stand the way when me and Shulk are on the case. You just take it easy and sit tight. Let's give it all we got, Ryan. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of an awkward quest to complete. <laughs> just everything considered there. Hey, get me some too. You say collection, but I've only got three so far. So let's get more, more, more. Leopold. Yes? I'm used to being in debt, but never this badly. I'll never be able to pay the whole lot back. Total keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger. The worst part is, it's affecting my ability to write anything decent. So, I barely have any kind of cash flow coming in at all. Listen here, son, you'd better pay me back. 300,000 gold in two days. You do realize what will happen to you if you don't pay, right? But, but you can't. We agreed on two months. I can't get it that quickly. Well, the deal's changed. If you don't pay up, I'm gonna seize everything you own. The bloke who lent me the money is really turning the screws. I don't know what I can do, but I have to keep make it, keep up payments somehow. In a vision, Leopold is being harassed for money by the loan shark King Squeeze. Do something to prevent this unhappy occurrence. Well, wouldn't you know it? Um. Wow, well, I could actually almost jump in there, huh? Gotta love Ryan's alley-oops. He's all the way up there. Oh yeah, now there's a portal over there, huh? I'm pressing a good friend Leopold for too much? For money he doesn't have? I can't deny it, but I'm not an unreasonable money lender. I just want him to pay back the money he owes me. Is that so much to ask? He could do it if he just stopped splashing out on his girlfriend. Then his wages could go to paying me back instead. Then we'd be square. I'd gladly call the whole thing off. Once again, very nicely done. Of course. It's child's play getting men like him to spend all their money. Good work, my girl. Here's your new orders. This much? Are you nuts? Why do you need him to get into this much debt? I think it's about time I got out of this game for good. I want that boy's house. It's in a nice area, worth quite a bit. The infamous King Squeeze is packing it all in, huh? Alright, you've got a deal. Expect a sizable contribution to your retirement fund. Make sure you don't screw this up. And make sure he doesn't find out. 
You would say that. You're the one who's looking to cash in. Leopold would never blame me anyway. He loves me. What? What do you want? You can wipe that suspicious look off your face for a start. There's nothing going on here. Well, I suppose it's time to talk to Leopold. Hold on, you say Sylveon's been working for King Squeeze? Right under my nose, this whole time. So, what was their plan? Make Sylveon spend all my money so I have to borrow more? Then hit me up for the repayments? Nah, it can't be. That girl's been a big spender since the day she was born. She would never spend my money to line King Squeeze's pockets. But if King Squeeze's business falls apart, wouldn't that mean my debts will disappear with him? What a plan, it's brilliant. Sorry, this is a bit out of the blue, but I need a favor from you. Can you get your hands on some cow pile poison for me? Then distract King Squeeze and secretly slip it in his pocket. I intend to arrange an interview with him for a fake article. Something like Colony 9's top owners of the year. He'll take the bait, we'll meet, co and I coincidentally find the poison. He gets incriminated, loses face, and his business is finished. He'll never show his face around here again. Um. Wait, five lots from Carapals and Tefra Cave. Okay. Before I get to that, I did mention wanting to go to Agora Shore here. I noticed that place way off in the distance over that way. That right there is Agora Shore. Or was it that way? I think it was that way. Although, generally, if you can help it, I would suggest against, uh, trying to take out the enemies here, because let's just say they're pretty high level. The level 70 throne Sardi over here, mixed with the level 9s. And level 30 plus solid crabbles. Oh, this is has I cape. This is has I cape. That is not the location I thought it was at all. That scared me. I thought one of the Sardi was chasing me for a second, and then it was Sharla. Ah! Wait, why are, why are the Sardi over here? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> S 
so many level 70s, yo. Agora Shore. Yeah, there are a lot of level 30 plus enemies here, including this level 37 Gentle Mother Armu? Yeah, that's a little strong for my liking. Um... I am pretty sure the Lake Magdalena will be here. Yes! It will miss all the attacks, but... We can easily defeat it. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks! Shulk just called Rhino Light a uh, lifesaver twice. Wait, Light Mangalina's. What are you doing? Why is there another one? Oh. Huh? Excuse me? The curiosity of the Defense Force soldier has been satisfied. Huh. Come on. All these Vangs give her filthy wings. Um. Yeah, they've all given filthy wings so far. Whoa! We've finally collected the three rainbow zirconias. <laughs> They're just what the people in Colony 6 need. Remember that for later. Rainbow zirconias. Didn't I need rainbow zirconias for something else as well? Oh. I know I need Dawn Hydrangeas. It's not financial planning, it's... The plan was it? No. Defeat three Colony Crabbles in Colony 9. Two singing brogs in Tefra Cave. Material quest three need two Vang teeth. Didn't I need rainbow zirconias for something? I honestly don't remember. Did we need rainbow zirconias for something other than Colony 6? Either way, let's check our collectopedia. We have cool potatoes! You know what this means? We can complete the collectopedia! Ragnus Gauntlets. And for 100% completion, 
We get Carbon Driver. Yeah, we still have a ways to 100% Tefra Cave. Oh, there's two Dawn Hydranges. Look at that! Colony Crabbles! Those are two colony crabbles up there. Um, two colony crabbles over there. The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard. This one's all done crazy. This one's all done. Quest complete. Let's change the time to the morning. Itinerant Dorothea. There we go. Let's head to Colony 9 again to complete Giorgio's quest. Hey. You got them. She is, mate. The timing couldn't be better. I've just now used up the very last of my dance apples. Anyway, this is a big help. I'm glad everything worked out. Right, it was well worth the effort. You can come here for curry anytime you like. It's on the house. And we have another quest from Giorgio. Must work harder. Keep focused. I'm in the zone. Can't slow down for a second. One play for you, or maybe five. Arg. Help me. Arg. Arg. Urgh. Paola. What? What's wrong? You think I'm looking a bit funny? You think I'm working too hard? Ha! Huh. I mean, I am feeling worn out lately. Times are a bit tough. But that doesn't matter. Not when I think of my cute little daughter. In a vision, Giorgio had collapsed due to overworking to support his czar. Do something to prevent this from happening. Listen, I'm glad you cared enough to ask. Just don't worry, okay? Hey. I can take it. This and more. I'm a big manly man. Work ain't gonna beat me. Well, if you really want to help... I could do with some fresh almond milk. It's very nutritious. It should keep me going for a bit longer. Well... We do need three lots of fresh almond milk from Colony 9. Um... 
I thought I already had the Armu Milk. I was wrong. I was very wrong. So I went focusing solely on Colony 6 at first to now focusing on Colony 9. I don't know, I I just kind of realized I got a bunch of quests and I didn't really do a lot of them, so... I suppose it's a nice break from the story. Alright, these armies should have the fresh armu milk. So, that being said... The enemy's weak! Don't drop your guard! Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. This won't take long. The enemy's weak! Don't drop your guard! Okay, yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. Okay, we got one lot of fresh armu milk. That's an Armai Pelt. Alright. Fresh Armu Milk and an Armu Crystal. This one should guarantee us the Armu Milk. Or not. I thought I was going to merge the two into one chest, but it didn't. Oh well. That's another muddy pelt. Um... Do you want to give another Armu Milk, please? Game. Thank you. We make a great team. Hey, Giorgio, buddy! We got you the Armu Milk. Hey. Wow, mate, you really got me some. Thanks, you're a star. Now it's back to full speed ahead. Okay, okay, I'll slow down a bit. The thing is, tons of people love my curry. I can't let them down. My customers are really important. The trick is to strike up a good balance between work and family. Now that Giorgio has some nutrients, he should be able to continue supporting his star. And for troubles, we got an HP up 2 gem. That's pretty good. Let's reset the camera. Which quests did I complete so far? I, I know I completed some of the monster quests. Okay, two stone crowels, colony nine. And if I'm not mistaken, the stone crowels, those are beach crowels.
That's a rabbit diode. I've got bunnets here. You know what? Let's clear the flat and flowers quest. Thank goodness for time travel in this game! Hello? Wow, Dawn Hydrangeas, they're my favorite! I can't wait until they're in full bloom for everyone to enjoy. This time I'll try growing them to be more resilient. Thank you. I'm glad everything worked out. All's well that ends well. Please, come and see the Dawn Hydrangeas when they're in bloom. Francois is so happy. She has gone back to her gardening with renewed vigor. And for that we got Soil Gauntlets. He's looking so good again today. An even bigger fan now than I was before. Ooh, Kenny Rohan here? Shh, listen. No machines, no marching soldiers, and no noisy vendors. Just the sound of children playing. Do you sometimes hear high-pitched squealing? Do you hear it too? D he really doesn't notice? What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a quest giver around here. Hello? It's so filthy outside my house, just like my son's room. Cooking, cleaning, even teaching. A woman's work is never done. Well, I think we got a fair bit of progress in today. We got some quests done in Colony 9, as well as a few surprise quests in, uh, in the areas of the Bionis Leg. So, with that being said... Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we'll probably be doing a few more side quests, but nothing too over the top. I'll probably be doing some more story progress on the next part, but not too overboard because I know I should probably focus on Colony 6 quests. Because they some of them are possibly timed to being locked into the refugee cha uh, refugee champ? No, refugee camp. So... I don't know if my info's wrong on that one or not. I'm just going entirely off of memory here, but if I am wrong, um, in future lookup of information, on some of the quests, and I will definitely provide that info when I have it. Anyhow, see you all in the next part. This has been Mustachio Yoshi signing off. Have a good one. Peace.